Hi, I'm Jack Hill, Commercial Technical Manager for Bayer, based in Norfolk, and here we are on a glorious sunny day in the heart of the UK's sugar beet growing area, uh, just outside Newmarket. Since the sugar beet was drilled mid-March, Mother Nature has thrown all kinds of different obstacles uh, in the face of the crop. We've had uh, obviously dry conditions, drought conditions, we've had high diurnal uh, temperature fluctuations and we've also had a bit of frost and also some wind blow. So in these challenging conditions obviously herbicide choice and weed control becomes a real challenge and um, in these types of years you really need to rely on a, a consistent product with a proven track record for, uh, for, for crop safety. Uh, when it comes to, to dry conditions obviously we all know Desmedifam performs slightly better in these conditions compared to, uh, to Fenmedifam and also from a formulation perspective because we've got those very hardy waxed up weeds in the dry conditions we know that we're going to get a benefit from an OD formulation or, uh, or an EC formulation uh, so a su su superior formulation to try and get the most out of the, uh, the active ingredients. Um, alternatively, if you weren't going to use a, a product with those types of formulations, your, your only other option would be to add oil. And as we stand here today, it's, uh, it's about 28 degrees. These are not the kind of conditions that you want to be adding oil uh, due to, uh, to a risk to, to crop safety. And quite clearly, we've got a heavy weed burden here usual suspects from a sugar beet perspective. Fat hen, we've got some ground sol, black bindweed. This little fella here is sow's bane. Uh, we've also got some speedwell, some mayweed and uh, also some pansy. So quite clearly, particularly this season, a real challenge to keep all these weeds under control. And to my right, very simply, we have three applications of Max Pro. So first application at 1 litre per hectare, followed by two applications at 1.25 litres per hectare. And given the challenging conditions, Max Pro alone this season has done a good job. This is the beta team plot at the delay timing with a residual partner. And as you can see, the weeds are slightly bigger here and been harder to tackle. So this is the same delay timing but with Betanol Max Pro and clearly you can see we've had an improvement in performance. 